And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Agro to start the day off. Played this deck a couple of times and it's definitely one that I enjoy. And just kind of want something uh, nice and straightforward to kick the day off today. We're going to be having a, a fun day. We got a couple of uh, brand new donation decks that look very interesting with Shen Vi and Lux Swain. Those will both be interesting. And then we'll be playing a Singleton Gauntlet. We'll be playing a control deck with Ionia and PNZ after that. Um, you know, finishing the day with some fun. But first, we're going to just uh, get our attack on. Um, try to use these Crimson units, Crimson Disciple, Crimson Curator, make them uh, tough with Chain Vest and Ranger's Resolve so they don't take the little extra damage and, uh, you know, have, you know, have that help us out with like our Transfusion dealing our own damage, our Vladimir doing our own damage and all that kind of stuff. We also have like the Cat of the Arm or Might for the plus three plus zero and overwhelm to mix with lucian and senna so we have that combo legion veteran is a good body four mana four five definitely a good body and then um you know it's bull elnuk size and it also can grant our other allies plus one plus zero whenever they're surviving damage which they should be with the chain vest um yeah then we got vladimir at the top end so nothing too fancy here with this deck but it's a fun one to play it's efficient and these crimson cards are pretty good they'll sneak up on you so we're gonna go ahead and lead off our first uh, deck with this vladimir aggro today and we'll see how it how it does all right looks like we are playing uh, horos with brahm lux those two regions usually a poro deck all right i like crimson disciple i like crimson disciple with chain vest um and i like these four fives it's just you know what? i'm just gonna keep it i like those cards too i don't have anything to do turn three and so it's kind of weird keeping a four and a five when you don't have a three but that's what our draw steps for we would have you know three more draws before turn three to find something oh, that cost three mana or less and we sure did uh, gonna go ahead and lead with the curator. I'm just gonna stick with the crimson curve with uh, disciple, curator, veteran, Vladimir. We well, had turn three remembrance. That remembrance is super hard to beat. That's gonna be super hard to beat. But we're gonna try. Young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Right out. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Why is they passed me first? Hmm. Don't have I don't have any attack even like playing this. I'm not gonna attack. This is this is a great start for them. Remembrance hitting the very best thing it can with the 5-5 five, five tough and then Braum. That's 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 the best their deck can do. So this is not not a good chance that we're winning this game. So an attack all out would do three damage to them. It would, these would trade. It's probably not worth it. Come on in. Good times, good friend. What could be better? Mages can't hide from me. Sit 
Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. You have no alibi. This is fun, yes? Let's take this outside. Hmm. suffers another thrive. Alright, well this is my best chance. Hope, hope they don't have any spells in response. So, you know, I'm doing this to be able to pump the Senna up to being a 5-2. Yeah, I tried. Got a fewer of the North also. Their, their hand was incredible. Sometimes you just gotta give it up to your opponent. They got all of the cards they could get. I can't wait. That problem's pretty scary. Will no one listen? I'm what nightmares fear. So the problem with attacking all out is if they have both 33s three block both Crimson Disciples and then have Braum block the 4-1, I would be able to kill two of their things, but I'd also be save I'd also be killing my Crimson Disciple at that point. Mr. I think that's worth it. It's Help is on the way. Oh, is this not Oh that's a that's a new Senna, right, that's why that's a new Senna. Probably better do the other way, isn't it? Every scar a lesson. Look how we have grown. Just keep having those tricks. Now I don't really know how we defeat leveled up Brom. That's gonna be tricky. Hey, Jando. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. These two could challenge and kill these two before this anyway. Interesting. They do not want to have their 4-1 or their 1-1 one -one trade with my 4-1. What was the point of playing that pre-combat then? Interesting. Uh, thanks, Jando. Power of Crimson Disciple is helping us out. We've been doing a lot of damage to them. Never mind. <laughs> we were doing a lot of damage to them for a little bit. 
But yeah, they're so they didn't want to challenge the one one with the four one because they're just gonna use the poro snacks and grow that thing. Well, for how bad that game started, which was, you know, as bad as it could start uh, with with their hand, um, we had like a. Two really good chances, I think, of taking complete control of the game if they didn't have, you know, one, if they didn't have the Fury of the North for the Braum, and then two, if they didn't have that Purify to save the Braum. You know, they saved Braum twice, uh, which if they didn't, one of the times I liked our chances. So this hand I'm going, turn two, Lucian, turn three, Senna. Have Senna die. Level up Lucian. Have Demolitionist and Curator afterwards. I think that sounds good. I think that sounds like what, what we want to have. Or we'll lead with Disciple, Curator, and like drop Lucian and Senna together. I love the taste of the action. I'm playing two Death Lotus. Come on, Death Lotus. Death Lotus. Darn. Man, that'd be such a good Death Lotus. It's Draven time. there that turn and this is a pretty awkward hand now with all these threes and four mana okay okay so like a double spell with war chef's lucian um smell that a bite to cook it I'm not sure what next turn's gonna look like yet nothing but noxian might okay that was not ideal Not ideal at all. Certainly the worst card to see. No one goes hungry. So I think I have to do this. I mean, I I have to offer trades with the Precious Pets because I can't block Precious Pet with any of these. Like, it's just so much damage that I can't block next turn. This is not a good attack, but it's just the attack I need to do now. Um, yeah, you know, like, I just have to pressure them enough to, to block, so. Trade a two for two, I... I don't think they blocked very well. I would not have blocked... If I were them, I would not have blocked Lucian. I would have taken two more damage, and... Um... Your path ends here. Not blocked Lucian. Uh, can I go to six? The six is essentially like four if they want to. They can go spinning axe, spinning axe. Like, so if they have decimate, I would die to decimate. If I, if I don't block that, I die to decimate. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, or decisive maneuver. Sure. Yeah, if they play that card either. Go ahead. Scare me. Okay. 
Yes, we block. Not good trades for me either. I'll try anyone one. I'm what nightmares fear. Make sure that all of these, um, you know, none of them, you know, basically, so like, yeah, I just want to have three, three, five power things. Let's get a good look at you. Uh, isn't that just the worst card to block? Like, that's the one with overwhelm. Hey, noise. Yeah, I kind of agree. I kind of feel like I was forced to block that last turn with the Lucian. I really didn't want to block, but it does kind of feel like I was forced into. Good. No Darius. That's good news. And uh, that's bad news. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. I can go to one? Question mark? Let's see. So that, that has to block there. And then you block here, you block here. I go to one. And obviously, it doesn't it doesn't matter which you know I can block any of these. There, it's all the same. Nice to punch you. I've been in better spots before. For the Empire. You wow. Demolitionist. Good draw. Whew. That was close. We actually, when it came with Noxus, that was our, oh, that was, is that the easiest, that has to be like the easiest uh, daily quest, right? Just to win a game with Noxus. That's got to be the easiest one. Man, we actually beat the Harrowing. That was a surprise. I'm keeping Crimson Disciple, Demolitionist. We're getting rid of Might, and I think I may just get rid of Senna also. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of Senna also. Need to find... That's fine. There we go, Transfusion's good. I was gonna say, we need to find something that can kind of deal with Zed. Which we don't have a lot of. My own story. Um, um Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. It's good to trade before well, I mean I guess I, I'm playing Rangers Resolves. I was gonna say like before they have a Rangers Resolve, but I have three Rangers Resolves, so maybe I don't trade. Ha. Dang, I probably could have got him with that Rangers Resolve. Here. 
Hey, Kordak. Sorry, you're a little tilted today. <laughs> Mom, today I beat Harrowing. Yeah, that's not something that happens every day. Smell that? A bite to cook it. All right, basically keeping the resolve available. And I like waiting on Demolitionist. You know, like the Warchef's attacks for more than Demolitionist does. Um, well, now it doesn't really make much sense to attack. I like kind of waiting on the Demolitionist. And, you know, they maybe take more damage because they think their life total is a little higher. ETC, etc. Ladder's not perfect, but it's not bad either. And it is. It could be better. Um. That Bannerman is really messy. That Bannerman definitely hurt. Show them our metal. Huh. Bannerbin was messy. Hmm. I'm what nightmares fear. I hope it's worth playing this pre-combat. I wasn't sure if I should play pre-combat or just go to attacks. Kind of see either way. Um, you know, definitely cards that punish us. Definitely cards that won't really punish us. We'll see. Break their spirits and their swords. That's probably in the punish us category. I think it's a good blocker. Good blocker. I'll close my eyes, make it fair. No closer. That worked out. That worked out. I liked that block. So many Fleet Feather trackers. So I could play Kato so that they can't just go attack, tra uh, challenge Senna, and then you know, like with the War Chefs. I mean, they don't they don't really have to attack with the War Chefs. The problem with playing the Kato is that if if one of these two cards is Bannerman and they play like Bannerman or, or just something that pumps up Tracker, then they go Tracker challenge Kato. You know, so if they have like a 
repost or anything like that. And I'm worried about that. I don't want Kato just to die on defense against a one drop whenever it attacks, you know, for eight, like with this overwhelm. Just too too valuable of an attacker. And so, like, the the thing about not playing Kato is now I don't have a blocker for warships. Like that's that was the thing about not playing Kato. Could have kept them from attacking with the warships, but oh well. We'll just take the two damage. They would still use the they could still use the tracker to challenge. Anyway. Okay, then I think it's just strictly better to do this. No, actually, no, actually, yeah, I was gonna go. You know, withdrawing the Ranger's Resolve, it was better to go with the Overwhelm on the Crimson Disciple because I had Ranger's Resolve. No, actually, it wasn't still because they weren't gonna block that. So no, yeah, it's better on the Cythria. So that they'd use removal, they'd use it on Cythria and not on Crimson Disciple. Two and one. Well, this is where our tough cards could be pretty good. I kind of like this. kind of like just having one drops against their deck. Legion Veteran's huge. I don't want Might. Might is... The, this is the worst card out of the 40 in our whole deck. Like, it really is. That is... The, the worst card of the 40. It's our only, like, pump spell that doesn't add any health. It's just all add power. And that's not what you want against a control deck. Um, <sighs> Lucian's my best play, especially if I could just untap and then play Senna. But they're going to just kill Lucian. And I feel like if they're just going to kill Lucian anyway, I'd rather them kill a Cythria than kill a Lucian. So many options. What if I just pass? No. All right, we're gonna play Lucian. It's you know, like which one would you rather have, die Lucian or Senna? And Senna being a four-two, I think I'd rather have I'd rather have the three-two than the four-two die. Um. And then, uh, I was definitely thinking about just passing. And see what they do. They would play the Shadow Assassin, so it wouldn't really helped me. The other thing, the other thing I could have done is just wait until I could try to play Lucian and Senna in the same turn. But I already have another five drop, and I already have a four drop, and I, I want to keep this, uh, keep the momentum that I had going with um, turn one and turn two play. It was kind of messy. Definitely wish I had like any of the tough cards, right? Like any of like the the two chain vests or the three rangers resolves, um, or transfusion or one of those three. I, I want one of those eight cards, like those tricks, uh, be able to protect against removal spell. We just don't have any of those. I have the I need the reputation. Fortunately, we drew might. Which 
Which I guess I guess we have two Death Lotus also. So there's those are our bottom three cards. Like we have eleven spells, eight of them are really good, three of them are really bad. Unfortunately we got one of the three that's really bad. Death Lotus would be really bad too. So maybe it's not forty out of forty. Maybe Death Lotus is worse. Not the best time for Vladimir. Right there, I don't like making it easier. Let your instinct speak. Spring does not pity winter. That was a really good turn for them, though. Will of Ionia, gain three, get a free three two. Yeah, that was a great turn for them. Now they're gonna get a Dragling. And just think of like how good just like the tough card would have been though like would it like kept the crimson the crimson curator would have stayed alive um like, yeah, just, I don't miss. card would have been amazing Eight spells protect my stuff. No. I help to build this empire. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Finally, <laughs> finally a spell. Probably too late, but finally a spell. Most likely too late. Young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Most likely too late, though. Yes, I think that Solitary Monk is still worth it in Crimson Elusives, yes. What is when you return malevolence? For all the things that it does in that deck, I do think that it's still worth it. Two. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Come on. Hmm. 
I might as well play the Might. Let's see, this would do four extra damage, this would do three extra damage, that would do two extra damage, this is the one doing the most extra damage, this is also the easiest thing to kill. It's a lot harder to kill Le Legion Veteran if we do that, that's only two extra damage though. I mean, this is just three, so it's just it's just one less damage, but it's a lot more likely that it goes through. Very surprised if we get another attack stab. This went very well for them. I do think that. Okay, now it doesn't look like we get another attack stab. I do think that if we would have had one, you know, chain vest or ranger's resolve or transfusion, if we would have had any of those earlier. No, that's just over. Okay, except for that. I think we would have had one of those earlier. We could have won that. But Ezreal's really good against us. You know, we don't have... We have lots of two health things. I don't have, like, removal for Ezreal. Don't have any blockers for Ezreal. Um, that's definitely a game that... Would have really wished they didn't have their Ezreal. Like that, that was just generating Mystic Shots. Turn after turn. It'll be a good test. Us against Elusives. I would assume that we're behind Elusives. Man, this might. <laughs> okay, this might probably shouldn't be in the deck, to be honest. It's probably the worst card in our deck. Um, I would assume that we're behind Elusives because... Uh, yeah, it should probably just be a third chain vest. Because they can block our stuff and we can't block theirs. Even though ours probably attacks a little bit better. Everything's better with company. Says you. Because of that, I would assume we're behind. They'll never see us coming. Hey, Enmo. Oh, I love getting the second Death Lotus. That is awesome. Also, play another one. Alright, alright, just, just those. Hmm. Alright, fair enough, I suppose. This, this time we're getting all these these spells that would have been great to have last game. Got them down to four. Everything's better with company. And we got this Death Lotus. To help us stay alive. Extra hands never hurt. Sure, hope they don't have deny. I 
don't care about change. Sure hope they don't have deny. If I'm messing with, around with Key Guardian a lot, do you think that would be a good card in Noxus Elusives? Kind of slow for the Nox and Elusive deck. I don't know if you want to like sit back and wait and Key Guardian something first before you play it. It's a little, it's a pretty reactive card. I don't know. I I don't want to say absolutely not, but I just from theory, I'm very skeptical that you'd want to take the time to spend mana on. A barrier draw card. Yeah, Death Lotus is underrated. That's a good card. And yeah, I've got a couple of Death Lotuses in here to help out aggro matches, especially whenever you combine, like Death Lotus combined with Ranger's Resolve is really nice, like where you give all of your allies tough, deal one to them, and then combat happens where your, you know, your allies are still tough, so they're taking less damage. So that was a good, you know, good showing of the deck. Three and two. It's not it's not too flashy, but it's fun to play and you get you get some cool combat tricks, you get some good attacks, you know, with your Lucian Senna and stuff. I, I do think that Might is my least favorite card in the whole deck. Should probably just be a third chain vest. Um it's it's real flashy, you know, it's it's like this cool finisher with like your Senna and your Lucian and stuff and your double attack and it's probably not probably not uh worth it you know like it's it's probably not uh yeah like you're probably better without without it you know maybe play yeah probably just play the third chain vest maybe a death sand maybe a cooling strike something like that maybe a, i mean i could see this deck playing a relentless pursuit maybe just a prismatic barrier keep something alive or if you want some extra damage and auction fervor uh that could be a little that could maybe be a little safer um you know there's a, there's a ton of cards you can play but I don't know. This is, it's pretty cute. The might is pretty cute, but, um, yeah. It can do tons and tons of damage, of course, with a double attack Lucian or Senna. It's just the probability of that happening. You, you know, the probability of you having a double attack one of those, and you having your might, and you, you know, having the mana to cast might on your double attack, and then them not have the removal spell for your double attack. It's just, it's something that's gonna happen just once in a blue moon, and and uh, a lot of the times if they're you know, being a removal spell deck or anything like that you're trying to get that uh, extra threat in maybe there could be something better but the other thing that might works pretty well with i guess is vladimir because people just always like chump block vladimir so you know you have your five five or six six vladimir um you know you can use your might for your overwhelm because they usually put like a you know like a one one in front of vladimir that happens all the time and might could help that out so all right, there we go. That's uh, Vladimir Agro with the Death Lotuses. You've been trying to make Death Lotus kegs work. Okay, it, yeah, that's something that rarely works, but it but when it does, it's real silly. Yeah, I could see that. Death Lotus powder keg. Yeah, that'd be tough to tough to have work too often. But yeah, I could definitely see how how that could be really cool. All right. Anyway, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always like uh, seeing those and appreciate those. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Agro, and I'll see you for the next video.